I'm joined today with Kelly Southerton at Lee Valley Athletic Centre. So Kelly, what's going on exactly here today? Um, today, um, myself and a couple of other high profile athletes get it to do with Chris Thompson are here to launch a new Avram uh, Meter Sprint. As you can see behind us, we've got three, uh, three beautiful coloured cars, all in British colours, and we're here to launch um, that new car. Okay, and you've been doing a spot of sprint training with some of the media. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should any of them give up their day job? No, definitely. It's, it's amazing to see people who've never done any proper athletics or skill or learning how to run before because they didn't know their arms and their legs and how they were more like puppets and they didn't realise it so much went in just to, just to run so hopefully it might have opened their minds a little bit that we don't just turn off the track and run there is a skill to run in. Well watching you patience must be one of your greatest strengths. Um, not with people who haven't got a clue because if they don't know then they really don't know so my patience will probably be people who should know better but no they were really good and they were really willing to learn so hopefully they've learned something for the future. Good and going back to you in November you announced that you were going to retire from the heptathlon yep. how difficult and emotional decision was that for you? Um, well massively emotional because I, I made that decision back in May so I had to think about really what I wanted to do whether I was going to stay in the sport maybe go to another sport um, I had a a thing that I might go to cycling and give that a go because um, I've done some tests but I decided speaking to one of the doctors that I go to that run it I could still run and because I ran okay in Beijing in the 4x4 and made the final and came fifth there I just thought why don't I give the 4x4 a go less taxing on the body and yeah I'm still a heptathlete at heart I still obviously see people and I see Jess do really well and I've just been warm weather training where a lot of Dutch heptathletes have been and I've seen them jump and throw and they're my friends as well and I, I just want to be part of that and I know I can't so but as soon as I start running and competing again hopefully in the next few weeks and Yum. hopefully um, I can put the hips half into one side and concentrate on the 400. And you've got the indoor championships yes. next weekend, yes. how confident are you about those? <laughs> very, I don't know, I'm very anxious, I don't know where I am, I don't know how I'm going to do, I don't know how competitive, well, I know how competitive I'm going to be, I'm a bit of an animal but it's, it feels all brand new because I haven't actually properly raced over a distance over 60 metres since 2008, so it's a long time, you know, and hopefully, because I've got new hair, I've got new kits, so I've got a new event, I'm, I'm just going to be someone different, nobody's going to know who I am. So. 2011 is a complete change then for you? Yeah, definitely, and I think maybe that'll just rejuvenate my career for the last two years before I retire and keep some freshness, I think, so. Um. Now you're renowned, not just for your athletic <laughs> capabilities, but your fish and chip parties. Yeah. Are they still a regular occurrence? Unfortunately, I've had to tone back on those um, fish and chip parties. I don't think I've had one for a year. Um, I have them by myself, but not with anybody else. Well, after the Birmingham Grand Prix in two weeks, you should have an extra large portion. Well, I try to, but if I have a successful outing there, then I'll have hopefully be looking towards the European indoors, so I might have to wait till after them. But yeah, those fish and chip parties may come back for the summer if everything goes well. Well, thank you for your time and good luck next weekend. Thank you.